love you. Me love you, me love you, me love you, me love you. No one can love you. No girl can take the place you have in my life. Give me the, give me the, give me your time. Tell me I said me not wasting your time. Hey, what's up, my crowns and tea arrows? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly, okay? But today we got Krishan Rock and Blueface, of course, Britney Spears, Ruby Rose, Brianna, Latruth, Regine, Justin Bieber, and Kodak Black. All right, yes, we're going to get in some things, some thing, thing, things, all right? But before all of that, make sure y'all do this. All right, let's get straight into it. So Britney Spears, y'all, right? Britney Spears' family is concerned, okay? Y'all already know Britney Spears has been going through a lot of stuff, okay? So, basically, they wanted to plan to do a intervention, all right? But Britney Spears figured out the plan, and it was like, uh, 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 and it was canceled, okay? They say that Britney Spears has substance abuse and is getting out of control, her behaviors, etc., okay? And she takes meds that hype her behavior up, okay? But Britney, okay... She basically agreed to see a doctor, a physician, or a therapist. We do not know as of yet, but she agreed to it, all right? So let's just hope that Britney Spears get it together because, you know, life is something crazy, you know, and her family is concerned about her. So hopefully she gets the help that she needs because on the internet, you know, you got people that's concerned about Britney Spears and you got people making her a joke, all right? And, you know, she's really actually going through some stuff, okay? This is not fake. This is not for play. Um, Like I said, hopefully she gets it together because Britney Spears was very talented, you know? And she was having something really good for herself. Not every celebrity is going to live that lavish, happy life. Money does not make you happy, as you can see, okay? But let's put her... And our prayers, okay, because it's getting out of hand. And once family try to do interventions and all of that, you already know your past going. Now, y'all know Regina and Armand is still together. She tweeted this. It's really super weird to me when people get mad at you for loving your significant other out loud. Like, I'm sorry you played the side for so many years. You don't know the difference. But me, I'm opposed with the F I want. Never have to hide nothing. And as you should, okay? Like, let's get straight into it, all right? They're cute. You know, they're a couple. Couples go through things. Who are anybody to say how anybody should show their affection to their loved one? Like, if she wants to blast it all online, all over the place, then as she should. She loves her man, he loves her, and if that's what they want to do, that's what they're going to do. Point blank and period. I know if I'm in a relationship, I'm doing that. You know my boo. Not Justin Bieber and Kodak Black getting sued. Yes. So basically, um, they got some new legal issues. Okay. A shooting that happened at Justin's concert after party in 2022 of last year. All right. Of the Super Bowl weekend. Two men are saying bullets got them. Allegedly. Mark Schaefer and Adam Rahman. Do not know if I'm saying their names right. All right. They're suing them. And the venue, yes, okay, so we do not know what's going on. Do y'all really think that celebrities should get sued um, because something happened at their party if they wasn't physically involved in it? Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments below. Y'all think that these people is really just trying to get some coins? All right, but me personally, I feel like nobody should be really accountable for certain things that happen at their party unless it's like a private party and, you know, something drastic like a violation of a woman, you know, shootings, deaths, all that stuff. Yes, if it was a private party, okay? Now, it says it was at a concert after party. Like, yes, if it was a private party and Justin and Kodak, um, you know, personally invited these men to come and something happened to them, then yeah. But if it's a regular concert, regular performance, everybody's coming and something happened to you, I don't think that the artist should be involved. Now, y'all know the recent thing that happened to Glorilla with the weirdo woman throwing the water drink or whatever she did at Glorilla really upset. She speaks out. To that too, hairstyle wearing ass, Glorilla. Never even touch me. Like, if that's what you're trying to say that I got touched. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Look at my face. I never fought nobody. I wasn't coming to fight. I had a good time. What the? F like, I'm hella sad I couldn't go to the little concert. That's the only reason why I was at the after I was, I was at school. Like, I didn't come to fight you. You're hella ugly. 
Nobody ever say that, but you ugly as it's the Glorilla being ugly for me. Shorty just show her whole hatred. Like, she's a hater times 100,000. Like, girl, if you don't go sit down, you just did that video to make yourself look extra more retarded. Like, I'm sorry to say, you did all of that for what? Did you want a viral moment? Did you want Glorilla? Like, are you, you trying to get her coochie or something? Like, what is really going on? Because, like, who are you? Girl, you have your 15 minutes. Goodbye. All right, y'all know Ruby Rose and DDG, you know, was together in a relationship, right? Okay, before. Now, she goes and says this. Having your girl wear my clothes is crazy. She talking about Holly, okay? Now, y'all already, like, all right, let's get straight into the other one. She says, I like Holly. DDG a weirdo, though, for sure, all right? Where is this coming from? She act like she the only one that whatever, you know, had that type of shirt. Also, remember these tweets back then? How you disloyal to a god then play victim? Musk got hit and the mm, was weak. How long does it take to uh, get over heartbreak? Guys still calling me on no call ID because you're blocked. Relax. They was going back and forth on Twitter. Remember this? My next guy got to be tall. I want to wear heels. He says, my next girl got to have less than 60 bodies. So he claiming she got more than 60. All right. Now, DDG and Ruby Rose has been broken up. Do not know what is going on. Clearly, DDG had moved on and Ruby Rose hasn't. All right. Also... I can't be mad at someone for more than 24 hours, even if I wanted to. This was in 2020. They're going back and forth. Ruby said, if he wants to be a thought, leave him and let him. So Ruby Rose, to me, is a little bitter. Um, I'm not going to lie to you because, you know, DDG and um, Holly been minding their business. Ruby Rose has been also doing her thing. She's a very beautiful woman. So I don't understand. She could get anybody she wants, but clearly she's still stuck on DDD. I said DDD. <laughs> DDG, all right? And that's just my take on it. Now, look what people have to say, all right? You just jealous of their relationship. Laugh my butt off. You a miserable OnlyFans girl, all right? being a bad girl and not being able to know where to use where and where is crazy all right i hate when beautiful girls show that they have a weirdo side because ruby rose didn't have to call holly out of her name or address that stuff like i said i just felt like she needed a viral moment to get ddg's um attention that's what i think in my opinion do not know what she really is thirsty for ddg for because clearly he's a player and a cheater um but maybe she's just missed him or his ding -a swing we do not know but girl relax <laughs> y'all know it do not take long for miss and mister <laughs> Do not know. They not even married. But Krishan Rock and Blueface. All right. Now, recently, Krishan Rock was rocking her natural hair, which I'm really loving. I think a lot of people should, you know, do the natural look. And, you know, she's doing her thing. She's also been spotted with Glorilla. She has been really in the limelight when it comes to the celebrities. You know, she's, you know, looking a little litty here. I ain't gonna lie. Her and Glorilla look lit. All right. Now, let's get to the wardrobe. This little piece of outfit that she had on, piece of material she was very uncomfortable and you could tell every second of the video she is holding them things up together them things is not staying together very uncomfortable very annoying i'm sure to keep having to hold them things up who does her stuff like she needed a bigger top <laughs> um we beefing again because blueface said a friendly girl gonna get the worst of me every time blueface shut up you're friendly too please um she also says sometimes i be thinking my life don't even make sense when it be making sense y'all already know she goes through her bipolar moments and want to rant okay um if the show fits now blueface are you drunk if the show fits, you mean the shoe fits? I guess so. But anyways, like I said, you already know Blueface and Kashawn is going to always go through the back and forth and always feel the need to put it online. Like, they, like, they don't, like, they don't see each other in person or have each other's numbers or live together. Like, come on now. Um, but it's entertainment. It's something for me to talk about. So, you know, why not? Like I stated, I love that she had her natural hair out. She should do it more often. Um, but that outfit had to go. It was way too little. She knows she was way too big for that outfit. Girl. Now, y'all know Brianna and LaTruth had recently broke up, was going through a lot of stuff. Recently, she has been going back and forth with his sister and family members. I'm asking for these receipts. Y'all ain't had to ask me. Every time I address something, I'm paying with receipts. Did they? Hell no. Did they? Hell no. 
<laughs> one video where this girl had receipts. You can't pull out not one video. My thing is this. Just block his family. Block him. Just move on. Try to do better. You don't have to always address little simple petty stuff. Like, for real, for real. Um, I feel like if you have each other's numbers, go speak it out, dump it out. Whatever you want to do. If you really this upset. But you're going to keep going back and forth with his family and stuff because you are the baby mother. Y'all are beefing. Y'all are, you know, broken up or whatever the case may be. When you are in a um a baby mother baby father whatever it's always going to be something unless you eliminate yourself from the equation okay it's easier said than done yes but things got to get done it's getting very annoying um brianna really definitely seems hurt but recently she said that she has a web series coming out in march yes so she has been trying to do her thing okay it's called just being brianna she also all right, we're not going to get into that, but it just seems like she's doing her thing. I'm going to watch it. Y'all going to watch it? Ain't no haters over here, but I just want to know what it's going to be on, like what um, network or, you know, because, I mean, that's a good thing, you know? She was getting her makeup done. Her makeup always looking good. Like, she's a very beautiful woman. Like, I ain't going to lie to you, but recently she has been with Mr. Jonell Young. Yes, they doing little baby boy skits. You got him calling my number. You up, got the phone. All right, Jody. Yeah, and then also she did an early Valentine's Day on a billboard. Johnnell Young, Happy Valentine's Day, XOXO, Brianna. So are y'all thinking that they booing up? And he put this on his stories. Guess he's showing love, and you know he noticed what she did. But also she's letting y'all know. You gotta, you gotta um know your worth, all right. She's still throwing subs out there to the truth, and she seems like she's still a little bitter and <laughs> salty. So I mean, it's not gonna just you know happen overnight for them to officially, officially get over each other. You know, it's a lot of pain and a lot of you know stuff going on in that situation. But hopefully they get it together because Brianna's trying to do her thing. The truth is, you know, I'm about to talk about him right now. Now, y'all know the truth. I don't know what it is about him, but every time I see him on my timeline, it just irks me. Like, he just really irks my soul. I don't know what it is. I guess it's his narcissistic ways. He has been in surgery. He says, headed into surgery family not too long ago, just the other day. Okay? And also, he had posted this recently. I got a vasectomy to prevent myself from having another dumb old baby mama, okay? He just recently put this out. Why did he have to say this? I guess they still going through stuff. I've made some bad decisions in my life, but I'm human, so it is what it is. God got me, fellas. Wrap it up at all times because the person you choose to make a child with will be the most important decision you'll ever make in your life, vice versa. <laughs> Trust me, all right? Both my kids were made because they purposely stopped taking birth control. And didn't tell me to trap my good ding a swing. Boy, if you don't be quiet, please. You wanted them kids just like them. Like, cut it out. Is he mad that he see, see Brianna with another guy in the videos and stuff? Like, boy, relax, okay? You got to protect me. Now you want to blame. You wanted them kids, too. You had multiple kids. You ain't just have one kid to make it seem like she trapped you. And so every single time she didn't use birth control, stop it. Stop it. It's called condoms. If you ain't want to know you have no kid, use condoms. Like you said, wrap it up, right? You ain't wrap it up. You should have took your own um advice. But he is just so n narcissistic. It's just like so annoying. It's like, ugh. Like, irk me. You're, you're irking. Like, but anyway, let's get straight into these quick thoughts, all right? I want everybody to comment down below what you think about the video, what you think about the people in the video. You know, we could agree to disagree, but keep it cute, okay? I don't want to block you because that's what it is, 2023. But anyways, you already know how I felt about um, Regine and our mom when I speak about them. I think they're really cute. They're in a relationship. Things are going to happen, and people act like people that's in relationships not going to have ups and downs. Not nobody's going to be perfect, okay? But if you choose to put your stuff online for everybody to be in your business, that's on you, all right? But Britney Spears, like I said, I hope that she gets the help that she needs. Her family is really concerned, okay, um, because they wanted to do the intervention. But as long as she's uh, agreeing to some type of form of help, then it is what it is. Now, Justin Bieber and Kodak Black, like I stated before, if it was not a private party, a private event where they like, really went out their way to purposely 
um, invite these men and then something happens to them on their watch and then their invitation or whatever the case may be. But if it's a regular concert performance, everybody buy their own tickets or they just come to show love or whatever the case may be. I don't feel like the celebrities should be um, at fault for that, okay? Because it's not like they pull the trigger. It's not like they, unless they was involved in the crime, then I said what I said, okay? Now, we're going to also talk about Kashawn Rock and Blueface. We already know they're going to be back and forth like any other relationship, but they choose to put their stuff online. So, people are going to talk about it. People are going to have opinions, okay? But it is what it is. Um, I see that Kashawn Rock is doing her thing. She's um, more out with the celebrities, you know, having a lot of opportunities come her way. Hopefully, she uses it in a positive way and stop using her clout for negativity because it's just like, girl, come on. And you allegedly supposed to be pregnant, but in every video, I see her. She looks lit. But that's on another, <laughs> that's for another um topic. All right, Brianna and LaTruth, you know, I guess they're... Still trying to move on. They're officially not really over each other. You can clearly tell. Um, they're both bitter and salty. Um, <laughs> but it's going to take some time. All right. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this. See y'all in the next video. I love y'all. And always make sure to give me some suggestions for things that y'all would like for me to talk about. Um, because I don't want to hear nobody complaining no more about, oh, why you ain't talk about this? Why? If you want me to talk about anything specific. If you want to hear my opinions on something specific, go to my Instagram, Etoxic Teen Lounge, DM me the receipts, DM me who you want me to talk about, whatever the case may be, and I got y'all, all all right? I say this in all my videos, and I I hope that y'all watch throughout the video, because a lot of y'all don't, and a lot of y'all be talking smack, and I'm like, all right, the only thing I be saying to y'all is, did you watch the, the whole video? Y'all be like, yeah, I'm like, you clearly didn't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be saying this. <laughs> but anyway, y'all already know I love y'all. Um, Anything I say is not nothing personal. It's just me, you know, speaking out. I'm human. You know, I have feelings too. And I have um a right to voice my opinions just like everybody else. There wouldn't be a brain in our head if we didn't think or express ourselves or, you know, whatever the case may be. It's freedom of speech. All right. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Toodaloo.